Hi, welcome to uh, Davidovich Bakery. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words, and with bagels, it's a really good start. The look of a bagel, if you know what you're looking for, can tell you a lot about the bagel. Today, we're going to compare a Davidovich Everything Bagel to two prominent local bagel store bagels. Your Davidovich Bagel is here on the right, two competitors on the left. Before we even discuss the ability of taste, let's look at one of the number one things that you're gonna look at in an everything bagel, and that's seeding. These bagels were selected randomly by bagel store staff. Bagel number one. I would say that the seeding on this bagel appears to be somewhat almost incidental. Doesn't even appear to be. It looks like a plain bagel that some seeds may have fallen. Not necessarily true value for when we walk into a store. Bagel number two is healthfully seeded. It has a nice amount of seeds, but if we look carefully, we see that it's basically poppy seeds. It's basically a poppy sesame bagel, more than an everything bagel, but to its credit, it is healthfully seeded. Now we take a look at the Davidovich. This is again a, a, a Davidovich that was just pulled out of the bin, randomly selected. We have sesame, we have poppy, we have onion, we have garlic, we have oats something that is very unusual in an everything bagel, but you can see how hev heavily seeded this product, this product is. And now, we're gonna try something else. We're gonna turn these bagels over. You can see in the Davidovich that we're seeded on both sides. I haven't even looked at this one, but oh, well, it seems that although it's heavily seeded on one, and this one, it's a little hard to actually tell the difference between one side and the other. But again, a sign of, of what you're getting in the way of a, of a bagel, in terms of a, a, a seeded bagel. Davidovich is double seeded and heavily seeded with the best seeds. Over and above the seeding, because we're looking at an everything bagel, there are certain qualities that a Davidovich bagel has for all of its bagels. This is a kettle oil plank baked bagel. We said it was double seeded, but it has some other features. This bagel is kosher and pas Israel, certified by the OK. These other two bagels, bagel number one is kosher, not pas Israel. Bagel number two is not kosher or pas Israel, something that may have importance to you. So one of the reasons why I, I decided to put these bagels side by side is that if you look at any one of these bagels independently, you may say to yourself, that's a nice bagel. That's a bagel I would want to serve my guests. When we slide them up, side by side independently, you may have a little bit of a different feeling. Certainly, bagels one and two, they don't really compare to Davidovich, and we haven't even gotten to the texture and the taste yet. So let's go into cutting these bagels, and let's see what that reveals. So I have my knife, and I'm gonna cut bagel number one. Now one of the things that I'll point out is that the flour is very light. It's very white. It's what we would consider to be bleached flour. Davidovich never uses bleached flour. We only use unbleached, unbromated flour. Let's see bagel number two. Also, bleached flour, something that you're never gonna find with a Davidovich bagel. We always use unbleached, unbromated flour. In places around the country, bromation has been outlawed as being a cause of cancer causing, and bleaching is just another process that is utilized to speed up the bagel making process, something that hurts the quality and hurts the ultimate. And here you can see a darker, more yellow texture because our flour is unbleached. In holding these bagels, we'll, I'll tell you something that's very interesting, which is this bagel is a dense bagel, crisp on the outside, chewy on the inside. 
While this bagel isn't all that seeded, it has a little bit more density than the other bagel and a little bit more chewy. But you can see that it, it, it bears a lot of characteristics of bread on the inside. It's a little bready. It's not so doughy on the inside. While this bagel is more heavily seeded, it's extremely light and bready. It's probably three and a half ounces as opposed to five for the same size. And the inside of it is extremely bready. It's really no different from eating a boiled roll as opposed to a bagel. Side by side comparison, Davidovich bagels, kosher, pas Israel, kettle boil, plank baked, made in New York City, certified in New York City, seeded with the best ingredients, double seeded, available in all the finest stores. Accept no substitutes. You deserve the very best.